Can you take snow, melt it, and use it as aquarium water? Well, that is what we're here to find out. So I went outside in minus 28 degree weather, and after breaking my leg, I finally got some fresh snow. After waiting for it to completely melt, what was left over was roughly an inch or two of water. I took out my TDS pen and started testing the water which came out to be 11 ppm. Now 11 ppm is pretty low, low enough to be almost considered distilled water. Now TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids, which measures the amount of organic and inorganic material dissolved in the water. So seeing how snow has 11 ppm in it, that means that there is something in the water. So what is it? So I went and took out the trusty API master test kit, filled up the test tubes, and started testing. First off was the pH of the water. Now this won't give away any ideas for the TDS readings, but this is still an important measurement regardless as different species of fish and shrimp require different pH levels. Once I finish testing, the pH turns out to be around 6.8 to 7, which is pretty normal. The next three tests that can be done with the API kit requires some waiting, so I quickly added the drops for each test and the results was something I did not even expect. My expectations were that snow would have none of these three, as it's so white and pure. No! This thing is tainted! Kinda. Of. The results showed an ammonia reading of 0.5 ppm, with nitrite and nitrate both at 0 ppm. Now that ammonia reading may contribute to the reason why TDS shows 11 ppm. Now what does this mean for an aquarium? Well if you don't know about the nitrogen cycle, I made a video explaining what it is. Basically any presence of ammonia can be harmful for your aquarium. But what about all the nitrifying bacteria? They're frozen. But why does snow have ammonia in it in the first place? When snowflakes fall from the sky, they trap ammonium found in the atmosphere. The amount of ammonium present may vary on the amount of air pollution present. Hold on, you said ammonium, not ammonia. You're right. The difference between the two is ammonium has an extra hydrogen ion versus ammonia which only has three. Ammonium is also less toxic as it's impermeable to cell membranes. Either way, you want both to be at zero at all cost. Snow has ammonia in it. Does that mean I can cycle my aquarium with it? Well, kinda. Looking at the test results, 0.5 ppm of ammonia isn't significant enough to help the bacteria grow. Yes, it may get processed all the way down to nitrate, but the tank won't have enough nitrifying bacteria, thus making it prone to ammonia spikes. Okay, so can I use snow for water changes and the like? Well, yes. However, you're gonna need a lot of snow. As I've mentioned before, that 4 liter pail only yielded about 1 to 2 inches of water, which is nowhere near enough for a proper water change. Not only that, you will need to use some sort of water conditioner to neutralize the ammonia. Even more, you will need to remineralize the water to above 100 TDS, as a TDS of 11 is not suitable for any livestock and plants. Even further, if you have a planted tank, you will need to account for the extra nitrogen being introduced when dozing any fertilizers to avoid any potential algae issues. And to add on to that, snow is cold, so you'll need a method to heat it up. I'll let you decide if all that hassle is worth the free water. And that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay warm and keep on scaping.